Hi everyone, let's talk about a puzzle called Prisoners Standing in a Line. In this puzzle, we'll start off with an integer that's greater than or equal to 2. This will be the number of prisoners that are standing in a line, fronts facing backs. Now, each prisoner is wearing a hat, and each hat is randomly colored red or blue. Each prisoner can see the colors of the hats of the prisoners that are standing in front of him, but he cannot see the colors of the hats of the prisoners who are behind him, and he also cannot see the color of his own hat. Now, standing, starting from the back of the line and moving forward one at a time, each prisoner is given the chance to guess the color of his own hat. This guess is said out loud so that everybody can hear it. Afterwards, each prisoner who guesses the right color is set free and the rest are executed. And the question is, at most how many prisoners can you guarantee to save if the prisoners can discuss a strategy ahead of time? So this, this is before any hats are put on anyone, they can discuss a strategy. So I'll wait for five seconds, you can pause the video if you want and think about it, and then I'll cover the solution. So five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's take a look at how we can solve this problem. Here's what we'll do. From the front to the back, we'll label the prisoners as one, two, three, all the way through to N in that order. So the first prisoner to guess uh, his own number, his, his hat's color is prisoner N, but he has literally no information about his own hat. He only knows what the rest of the prisoner's hats are. So there is no way to guarantee his safety. So at most we can save n minus one of the integers and maybe we can save the nth one if the nth one happens to say the right color. But we can't guarantee the nth one's safety. Now, uh, what he can do is that based on what he sees in front of him, he can pass on some knowledge of what he sees to the rest of the prisoners. So here's what we'll do. This is the main idea. If he sees an odd number of red hats among all the prisoners in front of him, then he says red. And otherwise he says blue. And this is the strategy that they have discussed ahead of time. Now we're going to need three facts that each person will have to keep, keep track of. So whether the prisoner N at the back of the line saw an odd or, odd or an even number of red hats among the first N minus one prisoners, each prisoner afterwards has to remember that. Secondly, whatever prisoner after the nth one is up next, that prisoner has to remember what previous prisoners have guessed. And since uh, we're using induction to prove this, we're assuming that all the guesses after the very first prisoner, so the nth one, are all correct guesses. And finally, the prisoner number i, let's say number i is up, that prisoner can see wh whether there is an odd or an even number of red hats in front of him. So let's see how we can combine these three facts to solve the problem. So each prisoner i knows whether the number of red hats among the first i prisoners is odd or even. So uh, this includes him. So the I minus one people in front of him and the ith person, which is himself. Because the thing is that um, based on what the previous people have said, so the, the nth person says uh, whether there is an odd or an even number of reds in the N minus one people in front of him. And then every time you hear red afterwards, you switch the parody. And by the time you get to yourself, you know whether the number of, of reds, including your own hat, is even or odd. But you can match that then with the I minus one people in front of you. 
and if the parity matches then your hat is blue and if the parity doesn't match then your hat is red so in that way every prisoner after the nth one meaning the first prisoner to guess can have his safety guaranteed and there's a 50 50 chance of having the very first prisoner the nth one have his safety be guaranteed as well thanks for watching and i'll see you next time